Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and the other day somebody had asked me when should we stop <laughs> astrology, when should we stop watching YouTube videos, when should we stop taking astrology courses or when should we delete our horoscope, alright, because my life has become hell after knowing astrology. All my planets are badly placed. Everything is terrible in my chart. Nothing is going to work. This astrologer told me that I will never get married. The other astrologer told me that you can never be successful in your business. And he also told me that you will definitely have a divorce. And you will not even have a son or a daughter. What to speak of grandchildren? Nobody. In fact, my parents will also leave after some days. Yes, this is what astrologers told me. So, I think it's high time for me to leave astrology. But how do we know? When do we know that it's high time that we leave astrology? Alright, so if these questions come to you sometimes, if you think that you are a victim of astrology, then maybe you should consider watching this video or you can share this with somebody who thinks like that. Alright, and if you are new to the channel and if you are not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation from me regarding your chart, regarding your <laughs> affair, marriage or anything terrible which another astrologer told you, if you want to cross check it with me that it is right or wrong, then you can go to my website and book a reading with me. You will find the link to my website in the description section of this video and all my other videos. All right. And today I think I must say that God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him even when all the predictions are negative about your chart. Okay, so let us see what's happening is today there's a lot of fear mongering in the name of astrology. Basically astrology is what? It is, it is a part of the divine science which leads us to the Almighty. As Lord Krishna says, in the Gita that Antakale Chamameva Smaran Muktva Kalevaram. The most important thing is what we remember at the end of our life. Antakale Cha. Because that decides our next destination. If we are thinking of the opposite sex when we are dying, then we will get a body which will facilitate our enjoyment with the opposite sex. And depending on our karma. It will be decided to what level will be our position. Okay. So astrology ultimately it is a part of the divine scriptural arena. And it is meant for helping us to reach that ultimate goal. As in the scriptures it is said Antakale Narayana Smriti which means that the goal, the perfection of life is to remember Lord Vishnu at the end of your life. Because then you go back to the spiritual world. You do not return back to this material world. And Lord Krishna also says in the Gita, Yadagatvana nivartante tadhama paramam mama. He says that one who reaches my abode does not come back. That is a guarantee from my side. So astrology's ultimate purpose is to help us go towards that goal. By telling us what kind of material circumstances we will have in this world. Alright. So when we do not know of this goal of astrology. About this goal. And when we use astrology as a simply dirty useless predictive tool. To predict things like marriage and career. Which are actually useless. Because even if you predict or you don't predict the date of marriage you will get married that day only you cannot change that if you are destined to get a divorce it will happen if you are destined to be fired tomorrow that will happen you can't stop that <laughs> yes it has happened in my life I can't stop it I can't change it that that can't happen of course we can do remedies but that is also within the umbrella of your karma only how much of that can be mitigated and how much can't and will you be doing the right remedies so when you use astrology as a dirty i am using the word dirty useless dirty wasteful tool only to predict the skin color of your partner many people ask me oh how how is my partner gonna look like they think astrology is meant for that 
<laughs> and then what, what happens you end up predicting something either your prediction is right or it is wrong you have simply lost the match you have simply wasted your client's time nothing else you have done and the client has also wasted his or her time by coming to you that is what is happening today people are going on giving psychological guidances in the name of astrology oh you know your venus is with mars actually you know you are too much sexual because of that now nah, there can be some friction in relationships oh my god <laughs> they think that venus represents sex they think mars represents aggression in sexuality they think like this actually it doesn't work like that you see venus gets exalted in pisces and mars at a very higher level represents mantra tantra mudra jyotish all these things yes jyotish comes from sun and mars it doesn't come from jupiter because that's what light is so if somebody says mars venus will give you excessive sexuality well that's true at a mundane level but you should also be giving the higher understanding of what actually mars is what venus is but that people don't do neither the astrologers do nor the client is interested so then it becomes like a useless garbage okay you will get married in 2019 you will have a promotion in the year 2032 suppose now sometimes i get clients who come to me and they say when will i be at the pinnacle of my life so then i say them okay maybe 2048 you will be at the pinnacle of your life but such a waste of time you see asking such questions because that is 50 years next it's i had 50 years you are not interested in knowing what will happen after you die or what will be your situation if you do not practice spirituality your situation will be precarious at the end of your life because you will be attached to so many things instead we should focus on how can we use astrology to see how can we overcome our difficulties and then we will understand that it is ultimately meant to help us because unless you clear the problems the karmic issues which are there in the chart which which is a reflection of your own karma we cannot get liberation or moksha it's not possible we have to evolve ourselves as an individual only then that will happen all right so if somebody is thinking that astrology has made my life hell why that has happened is because you are thinking that this material world which lord krishna says in the gita which is dukhalaya mashashvatam napnavanti mahatmana <laughs> this material world is like the romance of the movies yes dilwale dulhaniya le jayenge there is a headless being called sharukh khan in that movie who has nothing to do in life basically he will simply fly <laughs> to meet a girl called Kajol and that that movie is going on for 30 years now 20 25 years it was in the year when i was born i guess 1992 so the girl is headless she's she also has no purpose in life the boy is also headless and they are headlessly falling in each other's love and millions of headless people are going and watching such movies even i have watched it <laughs> look how headless we are so when we keep doing all these things and then we go to an astrologer and he says oh look you have this difficult placement because 99% of the times either your moon or venus or seventh house or seventh lot one of these four will be severely afflicted you show me any chart where all these four are not afflicted impossible i am telling you you will not find any chart open your own chart you will see maybe venus is well placed or the seventh lord is well placed but the seventh house as a malefic moon is afflicted okay so you will never have a have a very 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 romantic very happy married life that's not possible in kali yuga because we are full of faults kali yuga is an ocean of faults in the shrimad bhagavatam it is said kalir dosha nidhe rajan asti hi ekan mahad gunan kirtana deva krishnasya mukta sanga param vrajet so when we think that life in this material world is like a piece of cake we just keep eating you know just sit in your fantasy land la la land keep reading harry potter keep watching game of thrones keep going to the pubs 
keep going to parties kitty parties men and women both <laughs> the other day i had made a video on uh, housewives and a lady told me that why do you say like this that women should not go to kitty parties <laughs> all the females will unsubscribe from your channel <laughs> and then i was like okay let them unsubscribe if that is what they like if they don't like to hear what is good for them then how can i help them so when we think that this world is all in all we will just take birth we will have romance have sex then we will one day perish yes when that is our mundane materialistic conception then astrology becomes poison because then our world view is surrounded within this realm of reality because our goal was only to uh, enjoy physical pleasures either it's through the opposite sex or money money and opposite sex right these two other factors which is ruling this uh, which is driving this entire world of course love is also there but that is also tainted with physical expectation that is why there are breaks there are affairs otherwise there would be no affairs outside marriage of course i mean <laughs> why do people cheat the, this is the reason because they are not finding pleasure in that so called relationship so now when this is our goal as in scriptures it is said gramya uh, that there's a gramya buddhi which means it's like very animalistic uh, thoughts when that is our goal then astrology is definitely going to be poison because see you have five malefics saturn rahu ketu mars and sun and they have minimum one one aspect okay so let's take a utopian scenario that these five are sitting in five different houses okay let's check which houses will be remained <laughs> okay let's count one let's take saturn saturn will sit in one house it will aspect three three houses 1 2 3 4 then mars will sit in one house it will aspect three houses 1 2 3 Six, seven, eight, eight gone. Then the same is for Rahu. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then same is for Ketu. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then comes Sun. Sun is sitting here, and it will aspect another house. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh my God! There are twelve houses in astrology, right? How come there are eighteen afflictions in the chart? And then there is conjunctions like yes, Vish Yoga is there. Saturn Venus yoga the most feared dreaded yoga for delayed marriage that is also there right <laughs> so when when you have only 12 houses and you have 18 afflictions then you should understand what this material world is so if we do not have spiritual goals if we do not inquire on the level of tattva tattva is our basic inherent composition and what is that we are spirit soul eternally part and parcel of god when we are not having that idea in the mind then sare sath is very difficult you know mars in 7th house is terrible actually manglik yes the most dreaded yoga in astrology <laughs> manglik yoga oh my god it's terrible actually so then these things become very difficult but when we have spiritual goals in life when we understand that this material life which we are le leading here right now which we are living is only going to be a part of my spiritual journey which means whatever is there in this material realm i have to survive i have to get married then i have to work i have to feed myself i have to feed my family all the basic things you do you don't have to take sanyas and go to the forest that's not required you work you earn money do whatever is required and then you focus the goal should be on spirituality the focus should be there then even if your mars is sitting in the 7th house even if you have saturn placed with venus it's still not very bad <laughs> that doesn't mean it will not give you frustrations materially it will give you but it will not affect you it's like having an umbrella you see suppose i go outside and it's raining if i go like this i will become wet but suppose i have an umbrella 
then i am like okay even if it's raining but i am still somehow able to protect myself so spirituality is that umbrella which will encompass all your spiritual uh, all the astrological problems so the solution is not to run away from astrology you cannot because you know your horoscope you know which lagna you are so you know the transits okay jupiter is transiting in libra now it will transit to scorpio so suppose you are a scorpio lagna many scorpio lagna people are telling me oh my god when is guru going to come in my lagna they think that once jupiter transits to scorpio the life will change <laughs> yes there are scorpio ascendants commenting like this in youtube and one year back the libra ascendants were uh, uh, typing like this and after one year the sagittarius ascendants will keep writing like this oh yes finally jupiter is entering my sign you know my life is going to change good things are going to come so the solution is not that you run away from astrology okay because you can't do it let's be very honest you know which dasha is coming you know which planets are afflicted you know what you exactly know what is going on in the chart exactly no means it's not necessary that you know everything in astrology because you may be a, a new comer okay you may be learning from 6 months 1 year or you may be even learning from 20 years but how much ever you learn you will never learn enough and even if you know a bit of astrology you still know about your horoscope at least and you know that these mahadashas are there and this planet is here this planet is there so it will keep eating your head if you do not if you if you pretend to yourself that oh i will not use astrology no it's not like that so the solution is that we do spiritual practices and we read scriptures we associate with spiritual people by that we will get a vision for our spiritual growth and then we will see that okay i have this problem in my chart then i should use spiritual techniques remedies externally and internally mantras and i have to stabilize myself i have to change my habits by that i have to cross over these problems and then it will help me in my spiritual journey otherwise it is simply a waste of time <laughs> yes it is and i also do such consultations where people are least interested to to know about how they will go grow spiritually asking me tens of questions on marriage weddings health so many things my god as in hindi they say na ek bar to puch liya karo yaar ek bar pucho 10 bar nahi you don't have to ask 10 times ask once at least and even if i try to tell them sometimes they are least interested they are like mm. <laughs> so i also don't waste their time and my time by giving them uh lessons on their spiritual growth which is very clearly visible in the chart i simply tell them oh you know 2037 will be a great year in your career i mean it's ridiculous <laughs> and when i tell them they're like oh yeah yeah 2037 oh i'll wait for it <laughs> who knows you will stay till that time god knows but no you are very happy to hear right 2037 will be a great year in your career anyways whatever it is the point is you cannot run away from astrology because you know everything <laughs> so you have to become more spiritual and you have to grow yourself internally as a person and by that you can cross over the challenges otherwise it's such a waste of time you are externally unsubscribing from channels in youtube but your mind is playing oh my venus is going on my saturn the size running <laughs> as per nadi this house is active that is happening this is happening but you are externally pretending oh i am not into astrology you know i have left astrology astrology is very negative no it's not negative it is simply giving you an indication of who you are so that you improve yourself if you do not know where the problems are how will you improve yourself and you should be very grateful that you know the problems otherwise that's it end of the story All right so it's been a heavy video but I hope I could convey the message properly if somebody has stayed with me till the end <laughs> So if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know when they should leave astrology okay 
or when should they unsubscribe from astrology channels in youtube and if you want a consultation regarding your spiritual or material life from me then you can go to my website and book a reading you will find the link of my website in the description section of this video below okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you